We're back for a part two of the Williamsburg Antique Mall. I wanted to make this the first antique mall trip of the year just because I felt like it was uncompleted and I want to see what else they have. Incomplete. What did I say? Uncomplete. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to see what else they have and I'm sure some of the dealers that we visited last time have restocked. Let's go check out what kind of treasures are here this time. So the plan is to go all the way down to the end, the opposite end of where we started last time, just so we don't miss anything, don't miss any dealers. And so we are, yep, we're all the way down at the end on the right side. Yeah. When you walk in. Yeah, on the right side when you walk in and we're just gonna start finding a bunch of treasures. This tramp art mirror. I've really gotten into the tramp art this past year. It's always really high priced. There is a special. I don't think that says 22. I think that says 225. So the special price on it is 190, but I've seen them go f at auction for way higher. Elephant number one. There will be at least 30 more. It's like every other booth has an elephant. It's like an elephant theme here. They're like, if you're part of this, you gotta have an elephant. If we're gonna open up a booth here, you must include an elephant. Look at this cute little piece of pottery. <clears throat> I need to show it you the tub of pottery nuts. I picked up the other day. Look at that oil up there. That is a beautiful oil with the deer from the early 1900s for 475. Yeah, it's a gorgeous frame. I love it. Love the color palette and the patina on it. It's beautiful. This basket's not bad for 20. I don't think I could make much more off of that, but that's a not a bad price for a good little basket. Little. Demijohn? I don't even know if I'd call that a Demijohn. Green glass bottle encased in wicker with handle. Okay, well, it's on the smaller side. It's one of the smaller ones I've seen for $45. I like the wicker on it. Remember those candlesticks that were at Luckett's? But these are chrome, made in West Germany. 24 each. Very mid-century, they're not too heavy. Oh, Very like mid-century modern, heavy, yeah. Though. Very oh, nice. interesting. It's not a bad bottle. For 18. Crock beer bottle. This washstand, Victorian washstand. It's really nice. And I was hunting for a tag and I found it here. $99 and that is not a bad price at all. And we didn't bring the truck. But if we don't get it, somebody else can come and find it. For 75 This? Yes. Ooh, that's heavy. Okay, maybe it is worth it. <laughs> that's a nice table. Ooh, it is. I like that mirror too. Okay. Ooh. Oh, that is gorgeous. That is 495 gorgeous. The English pine washstand for 495. That is so pretty though. I like that mirror too. Ooh, 75. 75. Great old mirror. <laughs> it's bold with a crazy eye swan. I'm getting into ginger jars and I like the colors and the design on this one for 1250. It's a good shape. I like the size too. Another elephant. <laughs> More? More. Bookends. <laughs> ah, that is so cute. You would think you could feel this on the outside, but it's I love that. Smooth. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I love that rib look. That and it comes so with beautiful. the teapot. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, 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 you've got to be kidding me. It's got very little slits that would steep. Oh, my gosh. What? Might have to get it. Do you see a price tag anywhere? Tea fusion. I mean, I oh like my gosh. Thing or not. I'm not sure. We can Google it. Oh. It doesn't come with the. It doesn't come with the little creamer though. Oh, 60, 60 bucks. The same well, set though. We'll have to ask them for a price yeah. on it because that's a really cute set. And I think you'll use it. Definitely. Elephant number four, five, and six. It's an interesting pine piece. Ooh, primitive table, 55. That's not awful. Beautiful. Hmm? For 48. 48? Mm -hmm. It's not bad. Goes with the grand millennial look, for sure. Those are really cool. Pair of mirrored sconces for 89. Those are beautiful. I really like those. See those grapes back there. Twelve fifty. Does it say what kind of stone? It's different shades of jade. Is there? Yeah, there's like a dark green. There's light green. There's um, like this color. I mean, is there this color? 
Yes, I see Wait that yard here. long and that iron stone. <laughs> Pitcher and bowl for 50. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, my gosh. The stamp is great on this. Oh, it's got a chip right there. That's, I don't mind the chip so much, though. That's a really pretty piece. World War I for 100. Oh, I totally missed this painting over here. Winter landscape for 65. That's actually not that's bad. Not bad. No, that's not bad at all. Torian mirror with the painting. I've sold similar ones. I don't think I've done, uh, I don't think I've sold a specific one like that. But I love the size of it. It smells like CC's right here. What? You are having some weird smells today. Like there's cinnamon rolls. I'm not picking up on it. Oh. You're you're smelling some weird stuff. It smells like CC's in this <laughs> very spot. These bookends are interesting. But I don't think they're the reason it smells like CC's. Oh my gosh, 210 for the pair. See? Yeah. For 55. Mm -hmm. That's cute. Look at that. Yeah, I looked at it and was like, what was that for? Your little lunch pail, I'm pretty sure. What? Yeah. A little French enamel sandwich box for 45. That is so cute. I love that. I love that. For $48. I might just have to get that for myself. You should. It's very good. I love yes. <laughs> pressed flowers, especially With up against black. black. Yes. And, and gold. And so simple. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. I'm scared to pick it up, but it's a huge etched, I guess, silver punch bowl for $2.25 and it says firm on the tag. I can't even get a good look at it. <sighs> well, at least it's not an elephant. <laughs> he is $10. Ooh, I love that light. That's an interesting light too, this rope lamp. I love the dresser. That's gorgeous. $2.75. That's really pretty. Brass on top of the lamp. It's really nice. Shade. I love the shade. And it's quite functional. Oh, I love that. I would definitely have that in my house. Oh, it's mm -hmm. a good reading light. Oh, it is a good reading light. Yep. How much is it? One twenty-five. Oh, sheep skin rug, which I believe is real. It is real. That's about what I'd sell it for. It's beautiful. It beautiful. It's really nice. I don't think they have enough paintings. Really wish they fill in that bit of wall space right there. It's very distracting. So look, it's more elephants. <laughs> this little box for 15. It's nice. This little basket reminds me of this girl I follow on Instagram who has a booth in Savannah, Georgia. Copper Seal. I love her stuff so much and this is totally her. $15. <laughs> How much is the purse? 35. Black leather LL purse from England. That is, it looks like a coach, doesn't it? It has a similar style to one. It's really, really nice. That bag too. It's not bad. Oh, it's a mulberry leather oh. growth. Yeah. <laughs> For 95. That is woo, really pretty. Is it just a frame or is it a mirror? Oh, it's a frame. It's beautiful. For 50. Ooh. Yeah. One in front of a building of some kind. 125. That is, that is really, really cool though. Was the other one made of popsicles? Yeah. Oh. That, that's a tramp art piece. $12. Great shape. Heck yes. Definitely taking that. That's a copper top. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Wind box with a copper design on top. It's really cute. This is exactly what Logan's that, looking for, and it's $300. What? The reason they have $300 is because they don't want to sell it. <laughs> that's exactly what I do when I have something I don't want to well, sell. Ooh, that's another cute little wash stand with a marble top. 310 wash stand marble top. Really pretty. Ironstone platters. Ooh, that's a gorgeous stamp on the back on this one. I do like it. That's an ironstone basin. <laughs> for 34 that's not bad you can get a flat at the these oh. mugs i felt like I feel like these yeah. no federal green mugs set of six yeah. for 29 they got some mercury glass in here too some little cute little ironstone bowls 
really like this booth. She has it set up really well. Ooh, dried flowers. For six dollars. Wood. Oh, there. Mm-hmm. This is kind of cool too. Beehive spool. Could use it for a candle though. For twelve. A little hanging basket for eleven. This booth. Yeah. They utilize the space. Oh, my, my gosh. And this giant bowl. And Whoa. Bowl. Look at that. <laughs> 255 Antique Old West Steer Horn Footstool. This wow, is, with a needlepoint top and the bowl. 375, 18th century. Oh, dang. That's huge. I'm curious. 175 for the 1890s electrified ornate lantern. Got the lamp and these pressed flowers. Pressed flowers. First row, got a few things. Second row, we're taking this up to the front and then we'll do the next row. I'm trying to access this rug. Oh. Let's see what it looks like. Wow, that, that green. Oh, shoot, what is that called? Two by four oriental rug for 75. Like the colors. Might be a little too small for it to make sense for me though. Wow. I just sold one. Uh-huh. I don't see any tag. Oh, rats. Carved candlestick holder. I don't see a price. I wish I had a pair. Use those for many of projects. $20. Okay. Similar to the one we saw. Oh wait, isn't it? It looks very similar. Yeah. Three dollars. Is it not? No, it's not. I just checked. Wait. It says pear, though. No. Did you find that here? Yes. And I just walked over there to check. It's the same. No, it is. Yes, it is. It's just not the same color. Oh, that's why I didn't think it's a pear. <laughs> oh, I'm getting it for $3. I mean, I'll have to chip the candle wax off, but it must be. Yeah, it has is it the same booth. It's, it doesn't, this one doesn't have oh, a tag, but it's got the same wax them? on them. Haunting this, this coffee table I thought was pretty interesting. A little out of budget though at 550 bucks. I like the smoked glass and the base. It's got a cool look. Wow, they got everything here. It has that great cinnamon smell. Look at this. I've never seen oh a painted one before. California, Glendale, California. $20.95. Oh, but brass cute. candlesticks. Cute Ooh, for I like that. $180. For how much? $180. $180. The interesting cabinet. Oh. Craftsman style, I think. Oh, bookcase with stained glass. $1,100. <laughs> what is that? What is this? No. What? A tree knot? Can you come hold the camera? Yeah. This is work. It's a secret safe. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Wait, that's actually kind of cool. It's a. Why are there staples the... in it? Uh, it was, I think, holding the tag. Oh. <gasps> Need a soda? Yeah, I need it. I need a few sips of a, a Coca Cola. Birds. A pair of vintage brass roosters. For 68. This is huge. How much is it? 35. It's a pretty color, and I love the. Yeah. Neck of it. 35, huge jar, probably 19th century. What is that medical use piece? <laughs> Just missing the big cork. The stupid I kind of like that. I think it's very nice. Get, yeah, I think we should get that. That is beautiful. 42. This is kind of nice too. Stoneware jar, 19th century. A little crazing that's happening. We got some cool stuff in this little booth. Ooh. I like that. 8.95. I've sold these before too. That is nice. I think you should add that. I to your think collection. I will add that. That'll be great for your market. I think so. I like that one. 
I've seen these go up in price over the past couple of years. Document box for 67. Oh, like you could make put recipes in it. Well, it has this piece right here so you could put a lock on here. So um, it's like a metal box for all your secret recipes. For all the important <laughs> recipes and not anything like, you know, birth certificate. No, 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 no. Nothing like that. It's too pretty for that kind for of box. For grandma's cookie recipes. Interesting. Just knock everything Sorry. else out in the process. <laughs> that is awesome. It's an old gothic light fixture. Oh, a stool. Nice little footstool. I just sold. All of them? Uh, I have to finish one. But I just sold the one that I was actually almost the same exact shape. It was the same exact shape. I'll have to get How much is it? This is 14 Oh, definitely worth it. Those secret recipe boxes. <laughs> <laughs> for $11.50, that's not a bad that's, price. That, that's a cute little one, too. Uh-huh, I like that one. That's a nice one. Little personal item. Yeah. I don't know if I drank enough wine. <laughs> for that. That not true. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm getting these glass stirring sticks. Those are nice. Super like cute. Amber, amber yeah. Another elephant. This is a beautiful ironstone picture up here. Look at that stamp. Oh, that's wow. gorgeous. How much? 63 Oh. So I wouldn't be able to buy it and make money on it, but somebody, somebody come get it because it's beautiful. That's a cool piece. Originally 95 bucks, now for 65. Stoneware sake jug from Japan. That's really, really cool. I love that. That's probably my favorite elephant we've seen so far though. Yeah, I think so too. And it's 42.25. That is a gorgeous piece. 265. It's really pretty. Is it a print or is it actually No, printing? it's oil on board. That's nice. Love it. Have you ever seen a quilted elephant before? All right. I think when you see the elephant table, that's enough elephants for me. You ready? Yes. Okay. <laughs> We're back home from Williamsburg and I need to show you guys what I decided to bring with me. So one of the first things that you guys saw me grab was this cluster of grapes. After doing some Googling, I found out that it is a cluster of Italian alabaster grapes from the 1970s. Had to bring these home, they were a great price. Can definitely make my money back plus four times. So these were a yes. I also decided to take a chance on this ginger jar. Now it's not an older ginger jar. I tend to like the older ones, but the colors were nice, the shape was nice, the size was good, and so I'm taking a chance on it. I'm gonna be making a video on this soon. I would like to talk about 2022 antique and vintage trends, which also kind of translates into home, you know, interior decor trends, and I know that Grand Millennial will be on there. This reads very Grand Millennial to me, so I'm taking a chance on it, we'll see how it does. Oh, hello, kitty cat. I was so excited to find this tramp art slash folk art lamp. It is made entirely out of popsicle sticks. I actually have one myself. You've seen it in the background of a few of the videos that I've done, but this piece I love and I would love to keep it, but I'm okay with letting this one go and letting it go to a good home. This could go either way. This could go in a very masculine house, a, a cabin. This could also go in something a little more cottage. I don't know if anybody watches Architectural Digest or not, but they featured Kristen Dunce's house. Her kitchen was really cool. And in the kitchen, they had a light and it was a popsicle stick lamp, a little table lamp, but they put it in the kitchen on the countertop. So it was really cool to see kind of something that you can find out in the wild at an antique store or a thrift store. Sticking with the wood theme, I picked up these two candlestick holders. As my sister pointed out, she didn't think they were a pair at first because they are different colors, but they are the exact same shape and design when it comes to the uh, wood carving. They're from India. They were only $3. I did go ahead and get as much candle wax off of them as possible. I'll be interesting to see how quickly they sell with them looking just a little different. I felt like $3, no problem. I can take a chance for three bucks. Now behind me, is one of my favorite pieces. I love, love this framed collection of pressed flowers and leaves. Moody again, I'm telling you that is like my thing this year is the moody colors and this really great gold frame. It's not super old, a little newer. This just is so interesting to me to look at 
and to have as wall art. This is exactly what I'm looking for anytime I go out. Stuff like this that's interesting, different, and nobody else is gonna have it. You already know, but this big boy had to come back with me. I think this would make a really awesome floor vase. You can put, I know it's gonna sound funny to some people, but really big sticks or dried pompous grass in it and just have it sit there and look pretty. I also think you could use this as an interesting umbrella holder, but it is glass, so you might not wanna risk that. I think dried sticks and pompous grass and other big, long, twiggy things would be great for something like this. Keeping with the amber glass theme, I did pick up this vintage vinegar jar. I've sold these before. They look really great on tablescapes, especially when you have other little amber jars and bottles to add some height difference. Something that I didn't catch on video was when I found this metal side table. I don't think it's very old. It, it's not very heavy. It does look like it's brass, but it's not. It's just a basic metal. Something that you could put just by a chair, by a couch, by a bedside. Actually, it'd make a really great outdoor piece or bathroom piece. Water isn't gonna affect this very much. It's a little big. That Gothic light fixture had to come back with me. It has an older plug, but it does work and it looks really, really cool. Something that I didn't notice until later was it actually has a little tassel that hangs down that you pull to turn the light on. I also really love all the little flower details. It really kind of takes away from the harsh gothic shape that uh, pieces like this are really known for. It adds just a little bit of freshness to it, a little bit of fun. I'm really excited to stage this in the booth. I just need Mike to kind of help me do it. I'm really sad that I also did not get this on camera, but as we were leaving on the wall, I saw this painting. It is really, really beautiful. And yes, those are swans. They're floating on a little lily pond. I love the colors. This could go in a bathroom, a little girl's room. It leans a little more feminine, but it's got those muted colors again, which I really like. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any kind of signature on the piece, but when I saw it, it just made me you know, happy inside and I think it'll make somebody else very happy too. If I had this space, I would I would keep it for myself in a heartbeat. Y'all might remember from Vlogmas that I did a few footstool makeovers and I had one that looked exactly like this or the frame looked exactly like this. It just had a little more patina on it, but those sold immediately. Now I get to do another little makeover and these are incredibly easy to reupholster. In fact, I'm gonna do that now. Unfortunately, there were a few pieces that we totally forgot to go back and get. I really wish we would have circled back around to grab that beautiful tea set. I also forgot to go back and grab that purse. I'm more of a coach person myself, but that one had a really great look, just timeless. Should have gone back and grabbed it. That is it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please remember to hit the like button and to subscribe. Also hit the bell notification. That way you can be notified for whenever I post a new video. And please follow me at Amanda's Mercantile on Instagram. That way you can see anything that I do behind the scenes. I'll see y'all next week. Bye. I think you all have met all the dogs, but this is my kitty Cricket. Say hi. She's not about it. Okay. <laughs>